Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU stand. This is your preview for Manchester City versus Manchester United. Manchester United will face our Crosstown rival Man City in the 2023 Emirates FA Cup Final at Wembley Stadium this weekend. The Reds have a chance to make it to a domestic double. It's the domestic cup double with a victory over Pep Guardiola's size. Obviously, Man City also pursuing a second trophy uh, in the upcoming. They have, they've won the Premier League already. We've won the Carabao Cup. This is another trophy that we could grab. Uh, City also have a chance to claim a treble themselves with the Premier League title already in the bag. As I mentioned, the Blues will face Inter Milan in the Champions League final seven days on from our FA Cup meeting. But in this show, guys, in this show, we are going to cover the team news, uh, the predicted starting lineup, the current form, head-to-head -head score prediction at the end. So make sure uh, you stick around and get involved by letting us know who should be in the starting 11. Okay, let me just quickly move into the team news. Before I do that, guys, if you're enjoying these previews, make sure you smash that like on the stream, subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Okay, team news. So Anthony Martial is actually ruled out with a hamstring uh, hamstring injury. This is this is a big blow, I think. This is a big blow. We're expecting Martial to start this game, but now he's not going to be able to play uh, the, the final against... Um, Man City. The big question remains on whether or not the forward Anthony will be fit uh, to face Manchester City. Having been forced off against Chelsea on May 25th, uh, Ten Hag provided something of a positive update regarding Anthony's fitness following our most recent victory over uh, Fulham. So we, he said we've all seen how he came off and it did not look great, but the first assessment is not too bad. There is a good opportunity. He is available for the cup final next week, said the boss just days ago. So this is a positive thing. If we can actually get Anthony back for this final, I think it's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. Uh, we know already Lissandro Martinez, uh, Marcel Sabitzer, and Donny Van de Beek have all been ruled out. Uh, for the remainder of the season so those players are not going to be available uh in terms of manchester city so let's quickly take a look at the manchester city's uh team news so pep guardiola uh he would obviously could provide us an update ahead of the final on kevin de bruyne jack Grealish, uh akanji and ruben diaz later this week uh these people all uh these players all missed that 1-0 defeat against Brentford on the final day of the Premier League this season. Uh, it was mentioned that unspecified problems, so we don't know exactly if they're going to be fit. If you ask me, I think those players are going to be available uh, in the final. For sure, they're going to be available in the final, uh, but remains to be unclear whether they will be available uh, for, for, for the final. Okay, so lineups. So this is the lineup. Okay, this is the lineup that has started against Fulham. We've won against Fulham 2-1, and this is the team that has started. I think I'm going to make a few changes here. Uh, okay, so David De Gea. I don't think we need to make any changes for David De Gea. David De Gea saved the penalty at Old Trafford for the first time since October 2014 with United winning. And we were actually not winning. We were actually 1-0 down against Fulham. It could have been a different story if he didn't save that penalty kick because it could have been 2-0 for Fulham. But thanks to David De Gea, he made that save. Uh, for sure, he is going to start. He's going to start this final. Very unlikely for him. And I do believe Juan Basaka has been the dominant player in that position. And I do think Juan Basaka will start ahead of Dalot, so we are going to take off Dalot and put Juan Pesaka in. Uh, Harry Maguire, I don't need to discuss anything about this player. I mean, hopefully he leaves in the summer, but he is not going to be starting this game. He cost us the Europa League. So Varane starts with Lindelof. Malasia was impressive. Let's be honest. He was impressive against uh, Fulham. But we're not playing Fulham. We're playing Manchester City. And I do think if Luke Shaw is 100% fit, Luke Shaw is going to be selected for this game. This is going to be the back four, or should I say the back five. Casemiro and Fred started the game. Casemiro, of course, conceded that penalty 
with a clumsy uh, tackle or trip on Tom. What's the name? I think it was Tom, but all in all, he played well. He played well in that game. Casemiro transformed our team. I keep saying, I know Rashford won the two trophies, the best player of the year and uh, Sir Mas Busby uh, trophy. He won both trophies. I do think that Casemiro deserves at least to take one of them. In my eyes, I thought Casemiro has been the best player for Manchester United. Without him, I think this team won't be achieving what we have achieved so far. The Carabao Cup and also finishing in the top four. It would not be possible without Casemiro. And I do think he was he was the best player. He was the best player of the year. We're not going to have a lot of the balls. And when we do, we want a player that can create a chance from deep. And that is Ericsson. Ericsson definitely is going to help us create chances in transition. We might see Bruno push to the wing or push to the side. I don't think our natural will start this game in my eyes. And I, I do think that he is going to be on the bench. And I do think Sancho did play on the right hand side against Fulham. But in this game against uh, Man City, he will be on the left. We know for sure Anthony Martial is not fit. Rashford has to be pushed inside and play as a striker but Sancho on the left and put Anthony on the right so this is going to be the team I think this is the team that that should play uh, against Manchester City user do you, you guys agree disagree with this just do let me know in the comment section so head to head you're looking at head to head the past I don't know five games there has not been a draw between these two teams so don't expect anything less than that i don't think it's gonna be a draw i think we're gonna win or we're gonna lose these two teams we rarely draw games uh, man united have won only twice and i've lost three games so so this is gonna be a tricky one what's gonna happen in the fa cup final i know manchester city are favorite but i don't think it's as easy as that i don't think it's gonna be as straightforward as that i think we're gonna have surprises and i'll give you guys my prediction um team's form okay so going into this game uh, of course we know man city have won the premier league they've won three games in their past five games the last game they played they've lost against brentford which is a good thing hopefully somehow it, it it hurts them i don't think it will but somehow it kills their momentum it kills their confidence hopefully it does i mean i don't think all the starters played against brentford so they might not they might not take that game uh seriously the, the fact that they lost the game but i do hope that it kills their their momentum they're drawn against uh, brighton as well but these two results are, they've come after already being a champion. So I don't know how much you can put you can put into it. Did they really take these two games seriously? I doubt it. I doubt it. So they might not tell us a whole story here. But looking at Manchester United's uh, team's form, we've lost against West Ham. But after that, we've won four in a row, including against Chelsea and Fulham. So we're in good shape, guys. We are in good shape, but the confidence is really high. For Manchester United and I'm confident I'm confident going into this final okay here it comes this is going to be my prediction okay whether we see an end-to-end -end classic or a more closely fought contest uh it remains to be seen we don't know what kind of game it's going to be but one of these teams are for sure guaranteed uh to lift a second trophy of the season I mentioned that earlier and I think it's gonna be us I think we're gonna win our second trophy Manchester City of course possesses uh, a superiority in terms of p possession but uh and attack but uh, united could definitely exploit them in the counter attack and i do think that manchester united are going to sit back and counter with anthony that's why i desperately want anthony to start this game anthony and sancho and rashford they're going to cause a lot of issues and bruno fernandez just behind them for sure we are going to cause a lot of uh, problems for Manchester City. We've shown it at Old Trafford this season already. So it is possible, guys. It is possible that we could definitely uh, beat Manchester City on the counterattack. They might dominate uh, ball possession, but we might dominate uh, uh, creating chances on the counter, just sitting back, absor uh, absorb pressure, and just hit them on the counterattack. And I do think uh, uh, United could definitely win this game. And I'm definitely going for 2-1. Marcus Rashford is going to be on the score sheet and Bruno Fernandes 
is going to be on the score sheet. So we'll see, guys. We'll see on Saturday. I cannot wait for that game. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to join us for the watch along uh, uh, on Saturday. And also let us know in the comment sections what you guys think about the lineup and what is your score prediction for the game. Do leave it in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.